hi and welcome back to my youtube channel Prashini Kennedy here guys today I'll be doing something different on this channel I'll be talking about the perfumes that I wore this week so if you want to find out what they wear then stay tuned <laughs> videos a few weeks ago because I decided to take the time off from content creation to rejuvenate and to recalibrate. I started this YouTube channel in January this year and since then I have been consistently putting out one video each week which might not seem like a lot but combining it with my day job and other things that I do, for example, I'm a writer, I have books, um, makes it a lot for me. Now I am not complaining. <laughs> I enjoy everything I do because I chose to do them but I think I just wanted to communicate with you all that taking healthy breaks are okay they are okay and I'm visible and that I love you from the bottom of my heart for giving me your audience each time and for holding the space for me in my absence okay if you're just tuning in today for the first time hi and welcome <laughs> I am perfume Kenigan and on this channel we'll talk about perfumes but more specifically on how you can build your perfect and sustainable perfume collection like a pro without wasting your money so if that's a content you like to see click on the subscribe button and smash <laughs> on the like button as well i have free resources for you concerning this topic you'll find the links in the description box down below one quick info before we get started I wear perfumes every day, even before I go to bed. So the perfumes that I will talk about will also encompass my nighttime perfumes as well. So the number seven perfume on the perfumes that I wore this week is a stunning fragrance that was suggested to me by a lovely gentleman on this YouTube channel. Hello, Scott. Thank you. The perfume is from the house of Amwaj. And I can say at this particular point that Amwaj is my most favorite niche perfume brand because their offerings tend to be tend to be more, um, I'd say, unique, bold, and resinous. And that's the way I love my perfumes. I unboxed this particular perfume on my Instagram page at Perfume Kinnigan. If you're not following me there yet, then do so, because I post more real-time perfume reviews over there and other shenanigans. So head over to Perfume Kinnigan and follow me again. So guys, the perfume that I wore on Monday is called Jubilation 25 by Amwaj. This is a very rich, raw, complex vintage scent that is deeply feminine. This, in my opinion, is a cheap fragrance without an oak mask, which smells like a combination of the 1930s and 2023. And that's where the complexity comes in. There is definitely some powderiness going on here, which at some point brought out this French side to it, to this perfume. And then at the dry down, you get the intense Arabic DNA, which we all know how much for. This one is elegant, it's animalic, it's balsamic, it's opulent, and it's somewhat fresh as a result of the tarragon notes. The most prominent notes in this one are ylang, I would say, roses, tarragon, labdanum, and incense notes. Listen, this perfume has this aldehydic feel to it, and it has some similarities with um, Van Cleef first. I pair this one together, both of them, and the sophistication went through the... On Monday evening, I wore Jubilation 25 to bed and I had the most jubilant dreams ever. Guys, have you ever tried any offerings from the house of Amwaj? Let me know your favorites in the comment section down below. So guys, number six perfume I wore this week or the perfume I wore on Tuesday is a spicy, sexy perfume with not so great longevity. This one is a modern chipper fragrance that has this awesome uniqueness to it. I remember wearing this perfume sometime last year and a colleague of mine loved it so much that she requested it as a birthday gift. And guys, I am talking about Pères de la, Pères de la Lique by Lalique. This one has some sharp comfort opening that I adore. There is something about this fragrance that reminds me of old books. And being a writer, this is a wondrous. It opens with a rose note which to my, which to my nose is barely there. Then after a while, the iris, comfort, black pepper, oris root, vetiver, oakmoss, and patchouli reveal themselves and remain prominent until they dry down. The rose here is the dark vegetable roses and not the petals. 
and the black pepper black pepper here is really spicy i've made a huge dent on this bottle look at this because i have to over spray it every time the longevity is not the strongest i get three to four hours wear i pair this, this fragrance with all the orient by rituals and the scent profile became interesting as a result for my night time i wore this gourmand fragrance called only history de femme by by Mobazon, which is a beautiful and super long lasting scent that's what it looks like it's very inexpensive this particular one and i got it from amazon that's the perfume i wore on wednesday i woke up on wednesday feeling so rejuvenated and alive so i had to pick up a scent to match my mood i picked up another perfume from the house of amwad which was a recent blind buy and it turned out to be amazing listen i have a video on why i am against blind buys so you'll find the link above and also in the description box down below <laughs> guys i am talking about figment woman from the house of amwad this is a super creamy gardenia bomb that surpassed my expectations Listen, if you love white florals, then you need to get your nose on this gem. I smell lots of white flowers like lily of the valley, tuberose, and there is something slightly minty about this one. And in the dry down, you get the incense notes, which are all typical in Amwatch fragrances. This is a great masterpiece in my opinion, and it is a scent that I will always have in my collection. The silage is strong, is strong and the longevity is eternal. For my night scent, I wore Nishan Annie to bed. Guys, do you, wear, do you wear perfumes to bed? Share your thoughts or your comments with me in the comment section down below. Oh my God. Hold on a second. Let's do, let's do some experiments because this, I'm trying to find other scent combos for you guys. So let's try Nishan Annie and also, um, this is Nishan Annie. It's a vanilla scent that's also very beautiful. And let's try it with this um, figment from the house of Amwatch. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys what I think towards the end of this video because I will give the, uh, the perfume some time to merge. <laughs> if you understand what I mean. So wait for it at the end of this video. The success of the white floral perfume that I wore on Wednesday made me wear another one, another floral perfume on Thursday. This particular fragrance is from the house of Jasmine Bohem and it is called Jasmine Imperial. It is a creamy and a smooth floral perfume that has this dominant jasmine note. If you're looking for your signature summer scent, then you need to check this one out. It is a major compliment getter and it's also very mass appealing. As I mentioned in my previous video, this will make a perfect wedding day scent. It contains delicate jasmine notes and some fresh notes of bergamot yellow floral notes of ylang and freesia and a fresh and floral notes of neoli which gave it this bitter green and fresh facet then at the base you get this beautiful contrast of vanilla which gave it a sweetness and some musk which anchors the whole perfume and gave it a solid base listen this is one of my 10 out of 10 perfumes the salad is huge and the longevity is eternal. I could still smell this one on my clothes after I've washed them and that is insane. Okay, before I went to bed, I wore um, my hair by Latafa, which I previously reviewed on this channel. Make sure to check out my end screen at the end of this video as I will link all my perfume reviews there. But this one is a leather perfume. It leans more on the masculine side, but it has this feminine twist to it as a result of some floral notes. But this is really a masculine Arabic or uh, Arab perfume, which I find super interesting. Mm, this is so good. It is not suitable for the summer months. Um, it is more suitable during the winter and the fall season. But at night here in Germany, the weather, the weather, the past few weeks have been very cold so i find it to be more appropriate or more suitable at this particular time and it is called maher from the house of latifa it costs less than 30 euros in case if you're wondering 
So guys, if you're enjoying this video, hit on the subscribe button and smash that like button so you help YouTube algorithm to push out this video to more people who will find it useful. Okay guys, Let's on Friday, continue. I wore this bombastic Middle Eastern scent called the Intense Oud. It is a white oud saffron dominant scent, which is sweet, bold, resinous and intense. This one has a bismuth longevity with a very strong silage. It has all the qualities of the Middle Eastern perfumes. Listen, this is a common scent profile when you travel to the Middle East and I am here for it. Okay, I paired it with another Middle Eastern perfume called a uh, Sweet Wood. And guys, I could still smell this in my car eight to nine hours later and the scent wasn't faint. It was a type of scent that would make you want to sneeze. So be careful when you're spraying some Middle Eastern perfumes. Oh, very beautiful. For my nighttime scent, I wore a Bella Blanca by Oscar de la Renta, which is a floral perfume to soften up the hardcore perfumes that I wore during the day. This is very beautiful. It wasn't really my cup of tea because it contains this uh, strong pear note, but I have to wear something to bed, right? <laughs> and that was all I picked on Friday night. It is called uh, Bella Blanca by Oscar de la Renta. And the perfumes that I talked about before, uh, this one is the Sweet Wood and this one is the Intense Wood. I got both of them when I traveled to the Middle East and um, hmm, stunning. Saturdays are for Reckless Leather by Amwatch. Guys, if you have any Amwatch fragrance that you love, then leave that for me in the comment section down below. Thank you. Like I told you guys in the previous video, the leather in this particular perfume is reckless, it is untamed, it is arrogant, and it is a show off. The notes in this perfume are very spicy and deeply resinous, but also very seductive. It contains green notes of galbanum, some resins like olibanum, aka frankincense, and at the base you get some leather and broxian patchouli, which gave this perfume some serious uh, freshness and made it long-lasting. Reckless Leather is a perfume that will last forever on your clothes and skin and it is really hard to wash off. However, it is not a safe blind buy so make sure to sample it before committing, committing to a full bottle. And guys, remember to like this video if you haven't done that yet. Reckless Leather from the house of Amwatch. This one is from their Opus 8 collection. So guys, I have a question for all of you. And the question is, the last giveaway that I conducted a few months, a few months ago was a cash giveaway. And this time around, I want to give something back to this community because you guys have been here with me since I had one subscriber. And now we are now over 1,500 people. And I am so grateful for that. And I want to give back to this community. So my question is, would you guys like to receive another cash during the giveaway or do you want to receive a perfume? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And from your comments, I will decide on what to give away in my upcoming thank you giveaway. So let's continue. So guys, today being Sunday, I am wearing an orange blossom dominant perfume, which is very suitable for the warmer months. I am talking about uh, Neoli Blanc Intense Eau de Parfum. Mm, this one is good. This is a hands-down feminine perfume with an awesome longevity and silage. It has a very sweet opening that then envelops into this warm, creamy, and straightforward scent. I can smell some woodsy notes here, but they are very much in the background. Hold on. However, I need to point out that this one is sickly sweet and that some people might find it to be clawing. But go ahead and give it a try. The price point is decent. It has this uh, French chic aspect to it. So if you love the French unbuttered and sultry side, then this perfume might be it for you. And it is called um, Neoli Blanc Intense. It's I think it was first produced um, in 20, 2005, if I'm not mistaken. So it's not a new perfume, it's not a new release, but it's gaining more traction at this particular time because people are talking more about this one. And that was the reason why I got it, to see what the hype was all about. I like it, it's okay, but it's so floral, it's too floral for my liking. And I, like I told you guys, I love oriental and um, oriental and Ambre uh, perfumes. So this one is so floral, but it is good. 
It is called Mioli uh, Blanc Intense. So guys, the results are in. Remember when I was reviewing what I wore on Wednesday, which were um, Ami and also Figment from the House of Armwatch. I spread it here and I told you guys I will tell you what I think about it towards the end of this video. And guys, go ahead and give this a try. This is the bomb, guys. This is so good. The vanilla here amped up the notes, the floral notes in this one, and it made the gardenia, the gardenia notes here to be more creamy. This is, oh, oh my God. I don't want to smell this on any of you. <laughs> I'm joking, this is really good. Um, Annie from Nishan and Figment, Figment from the House of Amwatch. Try out this scent combo and let me know what you think. And if you also want to find out my tried and trusted scent combinations, the ones that I tried out and I found it to be wow, then make sure to check this video. I made a video concerning that, I think one month ago. Check it out and let me know what you think in the comment section. It is getting very hot in here. Like, I am sweating, guys. <laughs> I need to guys, finish up before coming to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in and share with me in the comment section down below the fragrances or the perfume that you wore this week. Also, don't forget to join my members only forum where we discuss perfumes more intimately. Check out the playlist that I created for you here. I love you and thank you for watching. Cheers.